Hey, in this video, I'm going to be explaining definite integrals and how it relates to area, and also how it doesn't really relate to area, and we need to be finding the absolute value. But in general, this is a, a video about uh, when the integral will be negative and when it will be positive. Okay, so if I'm integrating from a to b, so that a is less than b, you can see here I'm integrating from 0 to pi over 2, or 1.57, and the integral is equal to 1. So what this means is a to b is positive, so I'm going in the positive direction, and the function is also positive. So this is positive direction times a positive function. So these rectangles, these infinitely many rectangles, will be positive. So that's a positive times a positive. Now, if I switch a and B. You can see that the integral is now going to be negative. So if I switch it, I'll get rid of these here. And then I'll have my direction is now going this way. You can see I'm going from 1.57, well almost 1.57. Go a little closer. You should see it's still negative 1. 1.57. So this is negative but my function is still positive. So that's going to be negative width times a positive height. So this area is going to be negative, and you can see here that it's negative. All right, so let's go somewhere else. So let's go over here. So now I have positive width positive width, so I'm going from A to B, A is less than B, see A to B, but my height is negative. My height is negative, and you can see here, so that's positive width, negative height, and of course the area is again negative. Okay, so then, if I switch these, which is the real kicker, if I switch these, I get positive area because my width is negative and my height is also negative and you can see that the area is positive or the integral I should be saying the integral is positive okay so obviously area is always going to be positive so no matter when you get negative or positive you just need to take the absolute value to make sure it's always positive and more Specifically, you need to make sure that what you don't do is cancel your areas. So every time it crosses the x-axis, every time it crosses the x-axis, you need to make another integral. Because you can see that this area is clearly not 0. As it says, it's actually 2. This is 1, and this is 1. Um, it's not 0, so you need to make sure you don't cancel.